Hello everyone from uh, Nerdopolitan. We're in Cartagena with Steven Melendez. Uh, you're a professional dancer? Yeah, I'm a professional dancer. Well, I'm a retired professional dancer, now the artistic director for New York Theatre Ballet in New York City. Okay, um, so we're also doing a documentary about uh, dance. Do you know anything about like the dancing culture in Colombia? I don't, and I'm excited to learn about it. I'm here today for the performance of the Colegio de Cuerpo, and I've just learned about the fantastic work that they're doing in Cartagena and around Colombia, and I'm, I'm eager to learn more. Uh, so we were in, in Palenque, which is the um, first uh, free uh, town from slavery in back in uh, 1691. And it's also like the place where the cumbia was, the cumbia rhythms were born. We were interviewing people there, and it, their, their connection with like culture, the, their culture with uh, dancing and the, the spiritual spirituality. Uh, we also want to uh, know more about like what is your connection with dancing and how do you feel, uh, you know, when you dance the the spirituality. Yeah, you know, I think of dance as a language, um, and it's a special language because it's very, very, very old. And I think that we have the ability to be much more nuanced with what we're saying through movement than we can through spoken words. And I think that's why it transcends cultures and borders, because it speaks to a fundamental part of who we are as humans. Um, and it's really interesting to go back through time and see how one dance form informs the next and informs the next. I studied most of my life in the world of classical ballet, which has a European tradition, but even even the classical ballet, you can see some parts that are clearly taken from generational dances and cultural dances that come before that. So what do you think about like the future of dance? What do you, what do you see in the future for like uh, dancers? Oh, that's a big question. <laughs> I, think, I think what we're learning is that dancers need to be much more versatile than ever before. It's, we're coming away from a period when professional companies um, kept their dancers internal for their whole careers, and we're coming away from an era where professional companies were stuck in one dance form. Um, now you see ballet companies that are doing tap dance and Broadway shows that have tutus, and you see people dancing in the streets with these cultural dancers uh, dances um, that are now being put on the stages at Lincoln Center in the Paris Opera. And I think that we're finding um, a sort of globalism in dance. People are coming together in a new way. And I'm excited to see what happens next without, of course, taking away from the heritage and traditions that we have. What do you recommend for our asp aspiring dancers? Uh, like, what, what should they do or what, what they, uh, how should they train? Uh, you know, like, any suggestions? Yeah, aspiring dancers absolutely must see everything all the time. They have to know all of the history of dance that came before them so that they understand where they are and how they can push forward. One of the things that is the most dangerous is when young new dancers think that they are inventing a new style or a new technique or a new idea and actually it's been done before. I think that's a shame. Like, like the moonwalk? <laughs> like the moonwalk, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, what, what places are you going to visit in, in Colombia? I'm only here for 24 hours. Oh, really? I was here yesterday uh, to for the screening of uh, our documentary Lift, um, and today to see the mm -hmm. Colegio de Cuerpo perform. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got to head out to LA tomorrow for another screening and another conversation there. Um, I'm sorry, I missed the documentary, but can you uh, explain us a little bit what, a, what the documentary is about? Yeah, the Lift documentary follows the program at New York Theatre Ballet that is an outreach program working with homeless children and introducing them to classical dance. It was filmed over 11 years by David Peterson, and it is absolutely fantastic. It highlights how everyone is equal on the dance floor and that dance doesn't have an inherent pre prejudice. Uh, if you work hard and you practice and you do your classwork and you train, and your technique that uh, you can achieve. And even if you choose not to become a dancer, uh, you can take those skills and you can transfer them to any other profession. Uh, great. Well, it was uh, great having you on Art of the Politan. And congratulations on your documentary. Thank and, you. Um, welcome to Columbia Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to Nerdopolitan.